What's up, everybody? It's MBX Series, and I'm on Xbox Death Crescent 724, and I'm back with another video. But before we get into it, I want to tell you a little bit about my 2K streams on YouTube. And yeah, they're very fun, and I would appreciate if you turned into them by turning bell notifications. Um, so you'll never miss one. But if you came to this video, you want to know more about how the NBA is back. And this is perfect because it will give you teams, schedule, and predictions. So let's get into it. So basically... Um, 22 teams, 22 NBA teams, will be going to Orlando, Florida on July 9th for training camp. And they will be, um, going to Orlando. But also, they will have to be social distancing there. And they will all be in their own team hotel at Disney. Every, everything, like, players, coaches, and team personnel will be going. And, yeah. So, here are the 22 teams. Out west, we got... The Lakers, the Clippers, the Nuggets, the Jazz, the Thunder, the Rockets, the Mavericks, the Grizzlies, the Trailblazers, the Pelicans, the Kings, the Spurs, and the Suns. So, if your favorite team is out west and you're one of the 13 teams, um, then that's great for you because you will get to see them play at least eight more games. But if you are a Timberwolves or Warriors fans, be excited for the draft lottery. So, out east, drum please, we got the Bucks, the Raptors, the Celtics, the Heat, the Pacers, the Sixers, the Nets, the Magic, and the Wizards. So, yeah. Basically, the ninth, the ninth seed in the east is six games away from the eighth seed in the east. But out west, the 13th seed, the Suns, is... Six games away from the eight seed, the Grizzlies. So you can see why there would be 13 teams out west and nine teams out east. It just makes sense like that because the west was more closely compacted. So here's the schedule. On July 9th, they will be going to Orlando, Florida to, for training camp. And that will go to July 11th. And then they'll have a little break and the season will start on July 31st. And it, at the latest, it'll end at about October 12th and with the NBA Finals. And then if you are a lottery team, or if you don't think your team will make the playoffs, or if you're already, like, not even in the playoffs, then you'll be excited for the draft lottery on August 25th and the NBA draft on October 15th. Free agency will take place on October 18th. So if you're a big market team, be excited for that. Also, there are... A few big players whose contracts are up this year, like Anthony Davis, I'm pretty sure. And, yeah, so that'll be good for you big market teams. I think he'll sign back with the Lakers, but we'll see. Um, and then the 2021 season will start on December 1st, which is, which is like, I don't know, two months later than it usually starts. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Here it was uh so you know how the eighth and not so the eighth is in the ninth seed is the big factor because the eighth seed makes and the ninth seed doesn't. But here, I comment down below if I get this wrong. But I'm it, it's because it's so confusing. So basically, the eighth, the eight and nine seeds will be in a tournament. In which the ninth seed will be in single elimination and the eighth seed will be in a double elimination. But this is only if the ninth seed finishes within four games of the um, ninth seed. I mean, with the ninth seed finishes four games within the eighth seed. Because they don't want it being where well, eight regular season games is enough and there's not that, and there's too little deciding factor of who goes to the playoffs or not. So, yeah, the 8th seed has a bigger chance to make it in that case scenario, but the, it's just letting the 9th seed get more of a chance. And I think we got to get into my predictions now. Some of you, this is the moment you've been waiting for to see if I mention your team. But, yeah, so basically in the first, the first and second round don't really matter. 
the matter that too much because the Western Conference Finals is where it gets very interesting. Um, because, yeah. So I think the in the Western Conference Finals, it will be the Lakers versus the Clippers. And out East, I think it's the Bucks. And then I think a ton of the teams could, in the lower half of the playoff bracket, could make a, um, make a good move, except for the seven seed Nets. But I think... The Sixers, the Celtics, and the Raptors could all make, like, a run. But I'm just going to go with the Raptors because they had the experience. Even though I said the 1-2 and two seed, it's still, uh, yeah. But in the, I think the Clippers will beat the Lakers in um, 6. And I think the Bucks will beat the Raptors in 5. So, next, I think... It's going to be the Clippers and Bucks in the playoffs. And this is because the Clippers have depth that the Lakers don't have. And the Clippers have defense, which the Lakers don't have. Um, and I think the Bucks, nobody can stop Giannis and Chris Middleton shooting. Well, Chris Middleton shooting and Giannis is just everything. So, yeah. That's why I think it'll be those two teams. But I do think the Bucks will win in seven. So, those are my predictions. That's the schedule, and those are the teams. I really think the Bucks will win just because I Giannis is just too much for teams to handle, you know. And I do think the Clippers will beat the Lakers because of their depth and defense, even though they don't have the size. Uh, some other interesting things are, since there's no home court advantage because everybody is playing in the same arena in Orlando, they are doing first dibs on hotels and stuff like that. Um, another thing is Kevin Durant may be healthy. It's not exactly reported fully yet, but he will not be going. So Nets fans, that's kind of bad. He will be going to. He will be watching a soccer team. He got a stake in. Um, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, like and sub up if you're new, and comment NBA if you made it to this point in the video. Peace.